Are you looking to advance your character design skills? Visit silverdrawingacademy.com. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Art Talk. So today what I wanted to discuss is really the number one thing missing in portfolios. You gotta understand there's gonna be many different types of portfolios, and that all depends on what sort of job that you're really trying to get. Are you trying to work in the illustration industry as far as do you want to do toy design are you looking to do just fine art painting you know what what sort of area you're trying to reach into are you trying to just do uh just painting all around just maybe concept art because you want to get into uh that area in movies and films and live action right so there's live action there's animation um what just what area do you really want to get into that's first and foremost just really understanding what that target audience is or that target client that you're truly really trying to get is so once you've determined that the one thing that I would say and I'm gonna talk more on an animation portfolio that's in regards to storyboarding and character design more than anything but also it could be with layout too because things can get very stiff and what that is is the number one thing that's really missing across the board that people just need to work on and be conscious on is feeling Getting feeling within their artwork because there's one thing just to have an idea or a concept that you might have drawn, but if there's no feeling, if there's no emotion to it, that's kind of a big red flag because that's something that you're going to have to make sure that is shown in your artwork, especially when it's going to be moving into the next phase of production and make sure that the product at the end of the day looks really good. If they, let's say they get a storyboard that's just lacking emotion, lacking feeling, usually that gets sent to another studio, usually overseas to get animated. If that happens, usually that animation is going to come back feeling very stiff, very boring, lifeless, because it's a reflection of what the storyboards look like from the storyboards. So that's something where you have to make sure that you're putting that life, that energy, that emotion into your artwork. And the same thing with character designs. You don't just want to have just a character design, just, oh, look, here's all my flashy ideas that I came up with. But all of a sudden, you can't even show that character move or even in that one drawing, give that character a sense of personality. It's, it reflects not so well on you, especially in a portfolio. So when recruiters are looking at portfolios or when showrunners, directors are looking at those portfolios and that doesn't have that feeling in life, that becomes a red flag to them because it's a drawing thing. So in order to get better at that, it's so important just to make sure that you're doing gesture drawing. It's important to make sure that you're drawing from observation in your sketchbook. You're looking at people. You're drawing in your head even when you don't have a sketchbook in front of you. You're just looking at people and you're just trying to take in as much of that information as possible. But even when you look at just great illustrators and their work and their what they've done for books, magazines, covers of video game covers whatever it may be there's a feeling there's an energy there's a life and that's what we got to just make sure that we're really putting into our artwork to make sure that it reflects well on you and if that's missing it's something that you know you just really need to work on and start putting your focus on that it's not worrying about the details it's not worrying about getting the perfect line the perfect painted image if there's no feeling in that, it goes a long way to get that feeling into your portfolio, especially because that's where your job and your career begins with a strong portfolio. So it's up to you to make that strong portfolio, do what you have to do, make sure you're just showing the right people, getting advice where you need to get advice because that's what's gonna help you if you're if you're stuck with something, all right? Um, be sure to check out my um, links in my bio but also if you're interested in having your portfolio just reviewed you can check it out I'll be happy to check it out that's something that I offer people to go over give you a 30 minute session look over your portfolio kind of help you determine what things you need to take out what you need to put in what things you need to strengthen within your portfolio across the board whether you're doing background layout storyboards character design it's an important part um, again just to get you into that front door and to be seen but uh, you can check it out uh, through the link attached below all right make it a great week and I shall talk to you next week take care 
Join SDA for less than a dollar a day and drastically improve your skills at silverdrawingacademy.com.